Hi everyone, you know how AI has started to penetrate research and if you are a researcher, this video is very, very important for you. Now, uh, being a researcher myself, I do a lot of literature review and I'm guessing so do you. Or when you're writing a manuscript, you are looking for appropriate papers to cite. You might have seen them before, but you are not able to recall them. So there are a lot of problems that one goes through as a researcher when one is either writing a manuscript, be it a review article or a research article or a book chapter, or in general doing literature review to maybe draft a proposal. Um, so artificial intelligence tools are really good. Um, we all know about ChatGPT, but there's one tool that I've been particularly using a lot myself that is SciSpace. And it was a welcome surprise uh, when the team decided to approach me to make this video, uh, explaining you all about SciSpace. Um, it has different features. It has a basic plan, which is absolutely free of cost, and it has premium plans as well. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video where I explain you all about its features. And if you find it relevant, if you find them useful, definitely give it a try. The link to the website is down in the description box. You can use that or it is also in the pinned comment below. Let's get started. There are many other features and, uh, but ma majorly or primarily I'm using it for literature review. And uh, let's say, uh, what are its advantages? You know, right now we have chat GPT as well, but what are its specific advantages? Let's see that. So for example, these are my uh, recent searches that I had conducted. And let's say I want, I am working on Galactins or I was working during my PhD. And uh, I want to check out what are the inhibitors of Galactins or what are the inhibitors of Galactin 1. So what I'm going to do is going to show you from scratch. So let's say, I, uh, I want to see Galactin 1 inhibitors. So Galactin 1 is a enzyme, okay, um, or a protein which is found in our body. And I want to see what all uh, inhibitors or what all, you know, drug-like molecules are known for Galactins. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> one thing that is particularly uh, good is that you get insights from the top five papers. So it's basically a summary of uh, whatever question you are asking here in the search box, okay. Uh, it might be helpful in some cases, in some cases it might not be. Good thing about uh, this particular tool is that um, it not only generates insights but also citations and that is something that is really lacking with other AI tools. So for example, if you're, you know, writing a literature review or you are trying to find something for your research article, you are drafting your research article and you think that there are some key pointers that you need and you have read it somewhere but you don't know where exactly and sometimes when you do a google search or even when you go to google scholar and do a search uh you know using those keywords you there might be tons of articles and you need to go through all of those articles but over here you can just write those part that particular keyword and based on that keyword you will get the uh you know the research articles and there you can directly cite it so that way it saves up a lot of time in searching through to a very specific article that you have read before you know which line uh, is needed to be cited or where you read that line, but you just can't find the paper. Um, so for example, within each paper itself, you also get the insights, um, and what all has been done. So for example, if I talk about this paper, this is from June, 2022, uh, it says that, okay, that these, this is the structure of the inhibitors, novel three triazolyl one thiogalactoside. Okay. So this is the structure of the compound and these had been designed. You can also search mo more things. So for example, the conclusion is also given that how many molecules they developed. So they developed 62. Okay. And then results are also given and you know, a lot of other things. One thing, one feature that I really like is for example, let's say this is something that I found was very useful, um, for my, uh, work. And I want to see similar, similar things. I want to see similar things. Then what I can do is I can just select it over here and uh, and click on show more like selected and then it will give you more papers according to its algorithm which are similar to this particular paper. So that is one useful tool. Apart from that there are these relevant filters obviously uh, like for example if there is any any specific journal that you want to see from or if there's from any particular year you want to see last three years last five years or if you want to see a review article or a book chapter or something like that that is also you, uh, something that you could search for. This is something also, also that I had already searched. So for example, what is the energy contribution of a hydrogen bond? So that like that you can search for a halogen bond 
and it gives you an insight that what is the approximate energy contribution let's say you want to cite a paper uh, saying what is the energy contribution so here it says that this particular paper says that the energy contribution of a hydrogen hydrogen bond is up to 10 kilocalories per mole okay and uh, so from here let's say you want to cite that the energy contribution of a hydrogen bond can be up to 10 kilocalories per mole according to this particular paper uh, then you can directly generate a citation from here as well so for example in whichever style you want let's say i want it in harvard style so i have the citation generated and i can directly copy the text from here this is again super super helpful see there are other tools also to generate the citation but then this is one standalone tool from which you can get everything and similarly i want to see again like show more like selected i can do that another thing is that let's say some sometimes i'm not comfortable with english and i want to understand let's say in hindi so i can even change the language so for example i want hindi over here so <clears throat> now the insight is generated in hindi right hydrogen hydrogen bond ka urja yogdan 10 kilo calorie per mole tak hota hai jo anuo aur crystal ko sthirta pradan karta hai theek hai so basically i can search it in any language also that i want this is again super useful <clears throat> for those who are not very comfortable let's say with english particular search is really relevant but i do not have the time currently to you know sort of like go through all of it so what i could i could do is save this search okay so it will get saved in my profile and i can look it look it up later okay so now let's say i want to see uh, the paper which has the P pdf available with it or it is open access that means i can access the particular research article uh, let's say i do not have access through my institution so what i can do is click on pdf and let's say i want to see this paper i can directly click on this pdf link and it should open up the pdf for me and yeah there it is so this pdf has opened up and i can see the paper directly from here so that's another useful feature uh, let's say i want to know more about this paper and i want to understand it well so what i could do is once i click on this paper uh, this there's a thing called copilot okay which opens up with it and what it does is let's say i want to understand the paper and let me see L let's say i click on limitations of the paper i want to know what are the limitations so it says okay so these are the limit limitations of the paper the study focuses on equilibrium equilibrium hd fractionation factor to assess hydrogen bond strengths but it may not capture full dynamic nature of hydrogen bond in proteins which could influence the accurate accuracy of the calculated free energies so it does generate you know the limitations and let's say i do not really understand it and i want to understand it in a simplified way so i'll just type can you explain me the limitations in a simplified manner and it should do this and it should simplify the language okay so like for example over here the study mainly looks at how hydrogen bonds are in proteins so it might not apply to other things like dna or small molecules that is indeed quite a simplistic language and not a scientific language so to say um like not a typical scientific language so to say so it does you know it does do these things so this was about literature review and now let's say let's go to extract data so i have this uh publication with me uh and this is my publication non carbohydrate strategies to inhibit lectin proteins with special emphasis on galactins so let's say i have the pdf and i want to discuss this paper and you know be able to understand it well so what i'll do is just upload pdf so it's uploading so i had already uploaded it earlier and so it basically gives me a summary of that paper as well when i talk about limitations now this is a review article so you can see the limitations are particularly well described so for example carbohydrate inhibitors have weak affinities and complex synthetic roots uh, poor pharmacokinetic profiles and lack of selectivity with carbohydrate ligands and no direct evidence of heterocyclic galactan inhibitors binding to carbohydrate recognition domain so this is basically a uh, basically a review article on non carbohydrate inhibitors for galactan 1 okay so uh coming back to copilot so let's see what copilot can do 
so let's again maybe open up another article let's say the green chemistry article okay done <clears throat> all right so this is another paper of mine from my postdoc on um you know it's a synthetic paper uh, right so let's say i do not understand a particular line okay so it says select a statement so let's say um let's let's see a particularly complicated statement okay so let's say i want to understand this line well okay so let's say explain the text so this is particularly useful especially for someone let's say who is at master's level and they re don't really know what it means so the researchers wanted to understand when deuterium atoms were incorporated into the product used during the reaction process they conducted a reaction this 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 so it does a pretty good job at explaining uh certain things right and here you can actually interact and you can highlight whatever you want okay so for example let's say i do not understand this statement um so i can just highlight this and then you know if i really want to see a citation for example sometimes it's a very very you know painful task uh, to know from where the authors have cited a particular paper or let's say they have not given the appropriate citation then he, from here i can get related papers i can even highlight to come to it later and check it out or i think for me personally the one that is really useful is explain text and uh, you know and then interact with it like you do in a particular in any ai tool for that matter so this is why i really like sciespace um it's amazing to do literature reviews uh and you know it has all the features that you need for a, a good literature reviewer for when you are drafting your manuscript be it a research article or a review article or a book chapter and finally one of their most recently introduced tools um is the citation booster which again is absolutely free of cost don't get perturbed by the name citation booster it's not any unethical way to increase the citations but what it basically does is it simply um cup you know uh you upload the pdf of your uh, publication and it sort of like uh converts it into a video abstract which you can let's say post on social media it could be twitter it could be youtube like a short you know it's generally between 45 seconds to one minute and it also provides you a transcript so let's say if you want to give a voice over to that particular video um where you basically explain your um a uh, research in a very very concise manner uh, that could be great because it leaves a impression on whoever is viewing it first of all your audience increases and then let's say there is someone some researcher in your area they would i would say engage more because it's in the form of a video so it can be basically in the form of a video or you can also convert it into presentations i personally found this video abstract much more um interesting and uh, useful right um so you can just simply upload the pdf here and i think it takes about 1 minute and it converts your paper into the uh, corresponding video abstract so like i have done this for one of my research articles and i'll show you this is the video but more importantly you can see there's a transcript as well now like i mentioned this tool is based on freemium model that means there is a free version and then there's a premium version so of course you can go ahead and experiment with it and if you enjoy it then you can purchase the premium version so there are two sorts of plans one is the yearly plan which will cost you rupees 649 per month and uh, if you want let's say a 20% discount on this if you are a indian user then you can use the coupon code nci20 and if you are from outside india then you can use the coupon code nc40 and get a 40% discount um for labs and universities it's absolutely uh, reasonably priced and if you are uh, if you are a student you can actually pursue your director of the university or whoever is is in the decision making committee to actually purchase this tool because this is quite reasonable if you if you compare it with journals where you know universities are paying crores this is nothing so you can definitely uh, ask your director or someone in the university also to actually go ahead and purchase this tool if you don't want to pay it by yourself um coming to the monthly plan the monthly plan is 1049 for a single user and for labs and universities it's 900 per user per month and here you can get a 10% discount if you can use the coupon code nci10 and if you are from outside india then you can use nc20 and get a 20% discount okay 
i personally do not do a lot of sponsored videos but this is one tool that i use myself and i genuinely found helpful and that's why i'm going ahead and doing this video so if you do uh, enjoy this tool go ahead with the premium version and to support me use this particular coupon code which i have mentioned and also if you're going to the website again you can use the link that i'm giving down in the description box and also in the pinned comment so anyway i hope you like this video see you in the next video with some other useful topic really soon take care and bye bye